Hello, I'm Tim Tubridge. Welcome to this video, the subject of which is Eurorack Modular. I haven't done a video about Eurorack Modular in a long time. You know, when, when we start talking about Eurorack Modular and we talk about getting set up in it for the first time, we talk about cases and power supplies and, and what kind of modules should I buy to get me going. You know, inevitably, the conversation at some point turns around to MIDI to CV converters because, let's face it, they're kind of fundamental and essential. As soon as you want to play your Eurorack setup either from a door or from a MIDI keyboard and a lot of us want to do that. Um, there is a huge range of MIDI to CV converters out there. There's so much choice, there really is, but there's very little, little choice and there's very little conversation about the opposite of a MIDI to CV converter. That is a CV to MIDI converter. Um, and I have to admit myself that until quite recently I didn't realize I needed such a thing. But now I've got one, I can't think of how I actually existed without it. I really can't. It, it's kind of fundamental. Um, now, there is very little choice. Uh, the one I ended up going for is this one here. Let me focus the camera. There you go. It's by Dopefer, who are my favorite manufacturer of Eurorack modules. In fact, they are the granddaddies of Eurorack, aren't they? This is called the A192-2. Uh, it takes in CVs and it generates MIDI. You've got a choice of uh, MIDI DIN connection and USB. It actually takes two sets of CV and gate combinations. Now, there are actually four inputs. Uh, times two. The four inputs are, I can't remember which order they're in, but anyway, one of them is going to be the gate, one of them is going to be the pitch CV, then there's an optional uh, velocity CV that you can pass in, and then the fourth one, you can basically get it to be any MIDI uh, CC message that you want to generate. So you've got a lot of flexibility here with this module, and you've got two sets of those inputs to generate MIDI messages. So why would you want one of these in your life? That is the question. Now I'm gonna demonstrate it using this module here. This is by Vermona, it's called the Melodizer. I've done a video about this before. I'll leave a link to that video uh, at the end of this one. Um, I'm gonna say it now, this is actually the best Eurorack module that I have purchased in the last three years. It is my most favorite module. It's incredibly expensive for what it does. I can't justify the cost of it to you. I'm not going to even try. Uh, all of uh, Vermona's uh, Eurorack modules are on the expensive side. I think uh, it's fair to say uh, it is what it is. Either you have got uh, the money to buy one of these or you don't, uh, or you can justify it or you can't. I can't tell you what to do. From my personal point of view, this is the best module I've bought in the last three years because it is so inspirational to me. Uh, it's a kind of a sequencer. Uh, it generates sequences and they are to me so musical and inspirational. I mean, I, I couldn't make a whole track out of one of these. Maybe someone could, I can't. Uh, but I use this as kind of a, a way to get into uh, a little bit of sequencing and then I add some more instrumentation and I add some melodies and I build up tracks with this as kind of the starting point or maybe an interlude in a track. Uh, for me it is incredibly inspirational, it's worth every penny. Your mileage might be different but if you do have the money and you can justify the cost then I would strongly suggest checking this module out. Uh, it might just be the inspiration that you're looking for. So why am I going to hook it up with this guy and show you that in a little demonstration. Well, this thing is a kind of a sequencer, the Melodizer, it generates CV and gate. But once I hook it up with this, I can generate MIDI messages from this. And there are two really fantastic reasons for doing so. The first reason is I can then use it to control any of the synthesizers, sound modules, samplers, keyboards that I've got in my studio. Anything that responds to MIDI I can now control from my Melodizer. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you in a little bit. The other reason for doing this is that I can play around with these controls on the Melodizer, come up with some sequences that I really like and record them in my door. And once I've recorded them as MIDI in my door, I can play around with those sequences. I can cut them short, lengthen them, I can loop them, I can speed them up, slow them down to whatever tempo I want, uh, synchronize it with everything else I've, I'm recording in my door. And again, I can control any 
of the synthesizers that I've got in my studio as well as use VSTs. It is so, so much fun to be able to take the Melodizer and be able to control anything I like. I absolutely love this combo to bits. So uh, that is what is coming up in this video. Uh, a little demonstration playing around with those two modules. I do hope you enjoy it. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. So here I'm using the Melodizer to sequence a wonderful little portable sound module. It's the Roland MC-101. It's packed with thousands, literally thousands, of wonderful presets. So a question I probably should answer in this video is, well, why the Melodizer? It's just a sequencer. There are plenty of MIDI sequencers out there. There's the door, which is an incredibly powerful MIDI sequencer, let's face it. I just love being able to use hardware, tactile feel, little sliders. And what the Melodizer allows me to do is to just put in some notes, take out some notes, move notes around, play them in different ways without having to sort of like record them into a sequencer, record them, delete them, physically move them with a mouse and a keyboard or whatever I'm going to be using. It's just some sliders. It's non-destructive. I just add some notes, take some notes away. I love the probability sliders that the Melodizer has for introducing notes, reducing how often they're going to get played. I love the fact that you can just roll the dice with the Melodizer and just get it to play a completely different ordering of the notes that you want. And I love the fact that you've got these sort of range controls on the right hand side that limit the range of, you know, where in the octave range the notes are being played. There's a five octave range here, but you can just move a slider, introduce more notes move a slider, reduce them. It's just so, so simple and immediate and creative with the Melodizer. So let's just cover the connections. It's very, very simple, as I alluded to before. The Melodizer has got a CV and gate output, so that's outputting the notes that it's sequencing, that it's generating. And the CV to MIDI converter has got CV and gate input. It's just two connections, very, very simple. And of course, we need a MIDI out from our CV to MIDI converter. And that MIDI out, I'm using the DIN connection here, that DIN connection is then being plugged into my sound module which is the Roland MC-101. So I'm using here the Roland MC-101 as my little sound module, and, it, and it's fantastic. It is just packed with thousands of wonderful sounds. But of course, it is also a very powerful sequencer, a four-track sequencer in its own right. So it kind of makes sense to use the Melodizer as a sequencer, as well as the 101 as a sequencer. And as soon as you want to do that, you need to be able to synchronize your clock. And that's what I'm showing you in this little demonstration here, synchronizing the clock.
I'm using the MC101 as the master. It is the device that's generating my clock signal. You'll see at the top, I've now got two MIDI connections to the 101. I've got the original uh, MIDI input that I had before, but now I'm also using its MIDI output. I'm using that MIDI output to provide me with the clock signal. Now you can't see because it's off camera to the top of the screen here, but I've actually got a MIDI to CV converter in the box above. And that MIDI to CV converter is taking in that MIDI signal from the MC101. It's getting MIDI clock. And then this particular MIDI to CV converter that I'm using, which happens to be made by Vermona as well, has got a very convenient clock output. And I'm using that clock output directly into my melodizer to control the speed of the melodizer. So if you think about it as having sort of two worlds, the MIDI world and the CV and gate world, what I'm doing is I'm using the MIDI world to give me my clock, which I'm then passing into CV world using a MIDI to CV converter. And then I'm using the CV and gate world to generate my sequence, my notes, and I'm using a CV to MIDI converter to take that back into my MIDI world. Sounds complicated, but it really isn't complicated at all, and it's incredibly flexible. You don't just need to use one sound module like the MC101 I've got here. You could use a whole host of different equipment here in your MIDI world and in your CV world. So if you haven't thought about CV to MIDI conversion before, then I hope this video has given you some little insight into the potential. There is a huge amount of potential, not just with Eurorack modular gear, but with semi-modular gear. Quite a while ago, I did a video about the Moog Subharmonicon. It was my video diaries about that instrument, a wonderful instrument with loads and loads of potential. But one of its major shortcomings was the fact that it didn't have MIDI out. I couldn't record those wondrous sort of like uh, magical moments that I was able to create with the instrument. Now I can. Maybe that'll be the subject of a future video.